Welcome to our journey through the 11 books recommended by multimillionaire Luke Belmar. We have the whole collection summarized in easy-to-understand videos with real-life examples and applications involved. Wait for the playlist at the end of the video. In today's episode, we look at Patrick Bet David's book, Your Next Five Moves, and let's dive right in. In a world saturated with self-help books, Patrick Bet David's Your Next Five Moves stands out. Why I hear you ask? Because it's not about vague promises. It's a practical playbook, a strategic guide to conquering the game of business and life. This isn't just for CEOs. It's for anyone who wants to level up, including entrepreneurs, students, and even those feeling stuck in their current careers. Bet David's message is clear. Success leaves clues. By understanding and implementing the principles in his book, you can chart a course towards your goals. He breaks down complex strategies into digestible steps, using real-world examples that resonate with readers from all walks of life. Whether you're just starting or looking to make a major shift, your next five moves provides the framework for making decisions with confidence. It's about thinking ahead, anticipating challenges, and always staying one step ahead. Let's not imagine. We all know that life in essence is a game of chess. Each move has consequences, impacting the entire board. Bet David argues that business, like chess, requires strategic thinking. You must analyze the playing field, anticipate your opponent's moves, and plan your own accordingly. Chapter 1 dives into this concept, urging readers to adopt a grandmaster mindset. It's about understanding your strengths, identifying your weaknesses, and leveraging both to your advantage. Just as a chess player studies openings and tactics, you must research your industry, analyze your competitors, and identify opportunities for growth. This chapter emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision. What is your endgame? What are your long-term goals? By defining your objectives, you can start making calculated moves that align with your overall strategy. Let's say you're a small business owner in a competitive market. You've hit a plateau, struggling to stand out. This is where Chapter 2 comes in, encouraging you to make bold moves. Bet David uses the example of Netflix, a company that disrupted the entertainment industry. They didn't play it safe. They took risks, innovated, and ultimately changed the way we consume media. While not every move will be a home run, calculated risks are essential for growth. This might mean investing in new technology, expanding your product line, or even pivoting your business model entirely. The key is to be strategic, not reckless. Analyze the potential risks and rewards, and be prepared to adapt if necessary. You need not look any further than Blockbuster, which at its prime had a valuation of $3 billion when Netflix was struggling, was offered at a price of $50 million. As Blockbusters didn't see the future value, or in this case, see five moves ahead, the offer was declined. As of 2019, Blockbuster had one single store worldwide, whilst Netflix was valued at $289 billion. At the heart of Chapter 3 is a quote, often attributed to Sun Tzu, he who anticipates wins. In the fast-paced world of business, being reactive is not enough. You need to anticipate market trends, foresee potential obstacles, and be prepared to adjust your strategy accordingly. Take the example of the smartphone industry. Companies that failed to anticipate the shift towards larger screens, faster processors, and advanced camera technology quickly fell behind. Those who stayed ahead of the curve, constantly innovating and anticipating consumer demands, thrived. This chapter teaches you how to develop your foresight. It's about staying informed, networking with industry leaders, and constantly seeking new knowledge. By understanding the forces shaping your industry or markets as a whole, you can position yourself for long-term success. Chapter 4 brings it all together, challenging you to plan your next five moves. This isn't about predicting the future. It's about setting concrete goals and outlining the steps needed to achieve them. What actions can you take today, tomorrow, and in the coming months to move closer to your desired outcome? This exercise is applicable to all areas of life. Whether you're aiming for a promotion, starting a side hustle, or improving your personal relationships, the principle remains the same. Break down your goals into manageable steps which is another piece of advice provided by Sun Tzu, and create a roadmap for success. Remember, this is an iterative process. 
As you make moves and gather new information, be prepared to adjust your plan, but never your goal. The key is to keep moving forward, constantly evaluating your progress and making necessary course corrections along the way. In conclusion, your next five moves is more than just a business book. It's a guide to unlocking your full potential. By adopting a strategic mindset, anticipating challenges, and making bold moves, you can achieve success in all areas of your life. This book will challenge your thinking, inspire you to dream bigger, and provide you with the tools to turn those dreams into reality. It's a call to action to take control of your destiny and become the architect of your own future. Are you ready to make your next move? Until next time, the Luke Belmar Book Collection playlist is on the screen. But before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe to discover more insights and strategies for achieving your goals. Until next time, stay financially savvy.